Determining chiller efficiency is an easy method, but it is one of the most important. First let us know, what chiller efficiency is. Let's take a motorbike. We travel 175 kilometers, using 5 liters of petrol. Now, how much is the efficiency of this motorbike? There is a simple formula for this. Efficiency is equal to, distance traveled, divided by, petrol used. Efficiency is equal to, 175 kilometers, divided by, 5 liter petrol equals 35. This means, that this motorbike can travel up to 35 kilometers on 1 liter of petrol. This is what we call mileage. This mileage value varies with each motorbike. Manufacturers will specify the mileage of each motorbike. If a motorbike gives good mileage, it means that its efficiency is good. If it gives low mileage, it means that its efficiency is low. Efficiency of chiller is similar. As we say mileage for motorbike, we say coefficient of performance, or COP, for chiller. When we put petrol as input, in a motorbike, the output we get is, how much distance it can travel. Similarly, the input we give to a chiller is, electric power, and the output we get is, cooling. Its formula, COP is equal to cooling load in kilowatt, divided by, electric power in kilowatt. In our last uploaded video on chiller load calculation, we explained how to calculate cooling load. Those who are interested can watch that video as well. The link to that video is in the description. Let's assume a chiller is running at a cooling load of 950 tons. We can convert this to kilowatt. If we multiply the tons value by 3.51, we will get the kilowatt value. 950 multiplied by 3.51 equals 3334.5 kilowatt. The electrical kilowatt of the chiller is 700. Now, we can use these values in the formula. COP equals cooling load 3334.5 kilowatts divided by electric load 700 kilowatts equals 4.76. The chiller's efficiency is 4.76. This means that for every 1 kilowatt of electric load, we get 4.76 kilowatts of cooling load. Chiller manufacturers mention the COP level in the manual book. We can compare this value with the actual COP to determine the performance of the chiller. A COP level between 4 and 7 indicates good chiller efficiency. If the actual COP level is lower than the COP specified by the manufacturer, we need to find the chiller approach value. The chiller approach value is measured at the evaporator and condenser of the chiller. By measuring this value, we can identify the source of the problem and improve the efficiency of the chiller by fixing it. We will see how to find the chiller approach value in the next video. If this video was useful to you, Please like the video and share it with others who you think might find it useful. Please support our channel by joining as a member. Don't forget to subscribe to our Zebra Learnings channel. Thank you.